Good evening and welcome. It's wonderful to be here with you today. I'm Dr. Monique Rocca, and I serve as the college's Associate Dean for Academic Affairs. By authorization of the Board of Governors of the Colorado State University System and the Colorado State University faculty, I declare the 130th commencement of the Warner College of Natural Resources and the 139th commencement year of Colorado State University to be in session. To begin, our, to begin our ceremony, please stand and join Ms. Michaela Fitzpatrick from the School of Music, Theater, and Dance in singing our national anthem. <laughs> As a land-grant institution, Colorado State University honors the indigenous inhabitants of our local areas by opening this event with our university land acknowledgement. We recognize the importance of the land acknowledgement and of raising awareness of the contributions that indigenous people make in natural resources research, education, and management. We strive to provide a voice for everyone impacted by natural resource policies and aim to ensure multiple perspectives are considered in decisions that affect our environment. I'd like to invite Dr. Ricky Frierson, Warner College's Assistant Dean for Diversity and Inclusion, to read our university land acknowledgement, which serves as a reminder and a call to action for building inclusive excellence within our associated fields of natural resources. Colorado State University acknowledges with respect that the land we are on today is the traditional and ancestral, and ancestral homelands of the Arapaho, Cheyenne, and Ute nations and people. This was also a site of trade, gathering, and healing for numerous other native tribes. We recognize the indigenous peoples as original stewards of this land and all of the relatives within it. As these words of acknowledgement are spoken and heard, the ties nations have to their traditional homelands are renewed and reaffirmed. CSU is founded as a land-grant institution, and we accept that our mission must encompass access to education and inclusion, and significantly, that our founding came at a dire cost to Native nations and peoples whose land this university was built upon. This acknowledgement is the education and inclusion we must practice in recognizing our institutional history, responsibility, and commitment. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Frierson. Now I'd like to introduce our platform party. As I introduce each person, I will ask them to rise and remain standing through the introductions. 
Please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. Dr. John Moore, Director, Natural Resource Ecology Lab. Dr. John Sanderson, Director, Center for Collaborative Conservation. Dr. Kevin Crooks, Director, Center for Human Carnivore Coexistence. Ms. Susan Punjabi, Research Associate, Colorado Natural Heritage Program. Mr. Rocky Coleman, Master Instructor Emeritus, Department of Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Dr. Ricky Frierson, Assistant Dean for Diversity and Inclusion, Warner College of Natural Resources. Ms. Melina Tekvorian, Graduating Senior, Department of Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. <laughs> Captain Alan Plack, Air Force ROTC. Sean Bingham, Director, University Honors Program. Mr. Scott Gilmore, alumnus, Warner College of Natural Resources. Dr. Rich Conant, head, Department of Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Dr. Michael Manfredo, head, Department of Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Dr. Troy Ochiltree, professor, Department of Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Dr. Catherine Stoner, head, Department of Fish, Wildlife and Conservation Biology. Dr. Rick Astor, head, Department of Geosciences. Kathleen Fairfax, Vice Provost for International Affairs. Brendan Hanlon, Vice President for University Operations and Chief Financial Officer. Armando Valdez, Chair, Board of Governors. Amy Parsons, President, Colorado State University. Dr. Alonso Aguirre, Dean, Warner College of Natural Resources. Let us recognize this group. Please take a moment to help me recognize our soloist, Ms. Michaela Fitzpatrick, and our quintet, Big Thompson Brass. At this time, I would like to welcome forward Dean Aguirre to welcome you all and to introduce our honored alumnus and invited speaker, Scott Gilmore. Thank you, Dr. Roca. Hello, Warner Rams. It's an exciting time to be here. Members of Platform Party, distinguished faculty members, STEAM guests, and of course, awesome students graduating today. Commencement is one of my favorite university events, and it's fantastic to be here with all of you today. The event gave us the opportunity to honor your hard work and dedication during your time at Warner College. You are all part of a unique generation that represents the best of what we see for our future. Brilliant professionals with new, fresh perspectives in the complexity of natural resource management and conservation, and the skills you need to develop to make difference in our planet's future. Whatever your future professional and career paths, uh, paths will lead you as scientists, foresters, park rangers, planners, policy makers, teachers, veterinarians, or even at partners, husbands and wives, I want you to remember that you can make a difference and change people's attitudes towards how we perceive our environment. Each of you graduating today follow a unique path to arrive at CSU. In many ways, you also took your own trail through your degree program. Many of you came straight from high school, others transferred from community colleges or other universities. Some of you served the military before coming to CSU and get your college degree, and we thank you for your service. Over 5% of our students in Warner College are veterans, the highest proportion in any college at CSU. Some of you join us from families whose parents and grandparents attended CSU, and some of you are the first in your family to attend college. Roughly a quarter of the students at Warner College are first in their families to attend college, I can tell you by experience being first-generation American and first-generation college grad that the journey, the journey that we've taken is transformational, not only for us, but our families and our communities. All of you graduating today are about to become leaders in natural resources, from geosciences to human dimensions, and from wildlife conservation to forest management, focus on ecosystems and sustainability. All of you will make important impacts in the state, in the country, and across the planet. There are four very important groups of people that have been instrumental in the journey 
that I would like to recognize today. The first is your fellow students in Warner College who share the journey with you, stressed over exams with you, learn besides you, and travel through all your adventures here at CSU. Many of those people move from being strangers to being friends and colleagues. Indeed, some of those former strangers will be your closest friends for the rest of your life. Graduating students, I invite you to say thanks to your friends sitting beside you and give them a high five. The second group is a group of the most of you probably don't think about it during your Warner College experience, part of what makes our college so, such a unique place in our partnerships with diverse centers and programs actively involved in natural resources management. These relationships provide us with special insights into real world issues facing society, enhance our research, education, service, and impactful in many ways. We have several research centers, as you know, and programs within Warner College. Will the leaders of those programs please stand as I call your name to recognize you and thank you for all our students. Dr. Moore from Natural Resources Coyote Lab, Dr. Sanderson from Center for Collaborative Conservation, Dr. Crooks from the Center for Human Carnivore Coexistence, and Susan Panjabi from CNHRP. Thank you for all your service. The third group I'd like to recognize is the amazing faculty and staff at CSU, a world-class group of scientists, educators, and committed individuals who have shared their knowledge and time to help our students achieve their goals and not the full potential. Will the faculty and staff please stand so we can recognize you and thank you for all you do for our students. And the fourth group is perhaps the most important group, the parents and spouses, friends and siblings and community of people who lend a helping hand when you need it, who offer congratulations when you achieve good grades and finish your projects, and who gave encouragement and hope on days when you needed to reach the finish line. Will the family and friends of our graduates please stand and be recognized so we can thank you for everything you have done. Through each of these groups, you gain not only community and support, but also important gift, the diversity of experiences and perspectives you were exposed that will be invaluable throughout your life. This depth of knowledge prepares you to bring a different lens to addressing natural resources issues and anyone and everyone, and may you appreciate the importance of being inclusive in unifying all communities around our shared environment. And this afternoon, we had a great opportunity to gain a bit more perspective on your transition from this part of your relationship with Warner College. So I would like to introduce you to uh, a good friend and honor guest, Scott Gilmore. Scott graduated from the college uh, with a BS in wildlife biology and minors in fisheries and conservation biology. He was the, then recruited by Colorado Division of Wildlife, now known as Colorado Parks and Wildlife, just to clarify to launch a small urban fishing program to introduce urban youth to the joys of fishing and conservation. In 1996, Scott co-founded the nonprofit Environmental Learning for Kids, or ELK. ELK gives fun, educational outdoor experiences to urban youth to inspire them to become responsible stewards and citizens. Scott is currently the Deputy Executive Director of Denver Parks and Recreation. Please, let's all welcome Scott up to the podium. So, um, thank you guys for having me here. This is a lot better. They actually printed it up this time. Last time I was here, I was walking to the stage and I lost my speech. And so, this is a lot better this time. So, thank you for having me here. Congratulations to the Colorado State University Warner College, College of Natural Resource Class of 2023.
My name is Scott Gilmore, and I am a proud alumni of the School of Natural Resource class of 1996. Wow, almost 30 years. My two daughters back there watch me. Boy, they let me know how old I've gotten. So, but I also got to realize that I can't be that old because I remember Rocky kicking me out of a class because I fell asleep. <laughs> I want to personally thank Dean of the College of Natural Resource, Alonzo Aguirre, and President of CSU, Amy Parsons, for asking me to attend this ceremony and give the alumni address. At this time, I would like to take a minute and thank the college for the reading of the land acknowledgement, recognizing the Ute, Cheyenne, and Arapaho peoples and the other 48 contemporary tribal nations that are historically tied to the lands that make up Colorado. This le <laughs> This land acknowledgement is something that has become ingrained in the work I do on a daily basis. I mention the land acknowledgement not to check a box. Words matter, and these words acknowledge the history that this country was founded on. This country was founded and created utilizing the practices of slavery, exclusion, oppression, internment, and outright racism. That is the reality, not an opinion. Even though I am a person of color that is of black and Japanese heritage, I want to acknowledge that I do hold a position of power and privilege. Through my job as the Deputy Executive Director of Denver Parks and Recreation, I have been able to honor the words of the land acknowledgement. The reality is those words are just ink on paper unless you put actions to those words. Over the past five years, the city and county of Denver has been able to return buffalo, or bison, from our herds to the ancestral lands of the Cheyenne, Arapaho, Sioux, and Ute tribes. We have been able to work with indigenous tribes to transfer close to 100 buffalo to these tribes to either enhance existing herds or create new herds on tribal lands. This is important as buffalo are not just an animal to the indigenous people of this country. The buffalo are part of the land and part of their family. By the city of Denver transferring the buffalo to these tribes, we are returning their families to their ancestral home. These actions cannot erase the atrocities of the past, but they allow the city of Denver to move forward building trust and true authentic partnerships with the tribes we work with. Everyone holds some type of power and privilege. Some hold more power and privilege due to, to their race, their gender, their social status, or their economic standing. You all, you all hold some type of power and privilege, and you should always acknowledge that. You have attended a four-year university where you have received a world-class education worth over $100,000. Your parents know that. There's a lot of families out there and individuals that can never afford this power and privilege that you have been provided. You need to understand that you sitting here today receiving your diploma is a form of power and privilege. Let's get one thing straight. Right now, just because you went to school here and you are receiving your degree doesn't mean you know everything. Do not go out into the world and the workforce thinking you are all that because you are not. You have a degree that you have earned, which I again congratulate you on. But that document is just ink on paper until you can show that what you have learned is relevant in today's world. Never be afraid to learn more and acknowledge that you don't know everything and that what you have learned might not always be 100% accurate. A personal example of that is when I attended CSU, I was taught that we all own the wildlife. And it was our duty to manage this wildlife for all. 
That is a very Eurocentric way of thinking. So I started my career with Colorado Division of Wildlife based on a very European-centered way of managing wildlife. So one day I was out teaching some kids and families how to fish on the Ute Mountain Reservation in Southwest Colorado. I was excited about teaching the kids about catching fish in Colorado wildlife. I was on my soapbox talking about how we all own the wildlife and that we need to do our best to care for the wildlife species we are all responsible for. As we were preparing to go fishing, a young boy who was a member of the tribe, probably around eight years old, came up to me and tugged on my shirt. I turned around and asked him if he was ready to go fishing, and he was like, yes, I am. But in the next breath, he said, sir, I just want you to know, you do not own the wildlife. He went on to say that wildlife was part of the land and that just like humans are, and that we are all part of Mother Earth. Wow, what an earth-shattering statement from the mouth of a child. What a different way for me to look at the world. Instead of being somebody that must, must control and manage everything, I could look at the world from a very different perspective of being part of the environment. From that day on, I have never used the statement, we own the wildlife. That simple interaction with that child changed my view of my place on this planet. Wildlife management has not changed much since what I learned here in, in 1990s. Today, Colorado Parks and Wildlife is charged with balancing the conservation of our wildlife and habitat with the recreational needs of the state. I wanted to highlight the word our, which implies that we own the wildlife. If you really want to recognize the diversity of the people of the state of Colorado, maybe removing the word are and just saying Colorado Parks and Wildlife is charged with balancing the conservation of wildlife and the habitat would be more inclusive of everyone that lives in this beautiful state. So now that I said the I and D words, inclusive and diversity, and I highlighted the land acknowledgement, highlighting this country's troubled past, there are probably some people out there that are now saying, oh my goodness, this guy is woke. And to that, I would say, yes, I am. I wear that title with pride and honor. Being woke for me is knowing and acknowledging history, however uncomfortable it is. Here's an example. I want to ask you all this question. You're all graduating with natural resource professionals. It's amazing. How many of you want to be park rangers or wildlife officers? Put your hands up. Who wants to be a park ranger or a wildlife officer? OK. So think about this. There's a lot of you that want to do that, or a lot of your families that probably were um, park rangers or wildlife officers. And you are carrying on, wanting to carry on a family tradition. What a truly honorable profession for you to strive for. Just so you know, you're also following in the footsteps of some of the first park rangers, wildlife officers in this country, who were the Buffalo Soldiers. The Buffalo Soldiers were African American soldiers serving in segregated units who could not vote and were not provided the same rights as their Anglo counterparts. But they were deployed to Yosemite, Sequoia, and Kings Can Canyon National Park where over 500 served with distinction, protecting this country's natural resources and our first national parks. Remember, power and privilege. From here out, you all will have the power and privilege to make decisions, influence people, and make a change and provide hope for the future. You all hold the key to the future success of this country and this world we all inhabit it will be a real challenge for you, though. We're at a crossroads in this country where it seems as if there's just a lot of hate simmering out there. I just ask you to be true to yourself, whatever your beliefs are, but also hold those beliefs in a kind and just manner. Please be nice. Don't be a hypocrite, and as you move forward in life, say one thing 
and your actions being exactly the opposite. Don't say there should be freedom of speech, but then support banning books when they do not espouse your views. Don't say there should be support for a democratic society and then support enacting laws that make it harder for individuals to vote. Don't say government should stay out of people's lives, but then support government taking away a person's right to choose. These are top topics that probably make quite a few people here very uncomfortable to hear or talk about. But that's okay, because if you're gonna have real authentic discussions with people about real world topics, there should be some discomfort. Embrace that discomfort and learn from it. Hopefully these words I've spoken today will have some small impact on how you will view the world going forward. I was not asked up to get up here and speak because I was just gonna say, congratulations, have a nice life, and pat you on the back. I was asked to speak here today because hopefully I will instill in you a little bit of critical thinking when you take this next step in the journey of your life. From here out, please believe in yourself and remember the power and privilege you all hold. Thank you for having me again, and congratulations to the Colorado State University Warner Class of Natural Resources 2023. Thank you for that thought-provoking, beautiful speech. Now, now I invite Sean Bingham, director of the Colorado State University Honors Program to come forward to recognize our university honors students and honors society initiates. I've never actually had to raise the microphone, but I, because everyone's always taller than me, so thank you. Uh, just very briefly, I'm going to go off script for a second. I am here to recognize the honors program students, but uh, to use a word that we use in honors, and Mr. Gilmore stole my thunder, all of the work that you all are about to do is honorable. And at the end of the day, for the honors students that I'm recognizing, that is the key word, being honorable. So in that sense, you are all honors students. You are doing honorable work, and I'm not here to just recognize the students on this list, but all of you. So please know that. The candidates for University Honors Scholar must complete a program of academic excellence, which includes honors seminars, honors courses in the major, and senior honors thesis, uh, individual research, while achieving at least a 3.5 cumulative grade point average. These scholar candidates are wearing green regalia, and those with gold cords are also candidates for graduation with Latin distinction. This semester, we have 24 graduates from the University Honors Program. Will you please stand and remain standing as your name is called? From the Department of Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, Aidan Cruz, Zoe Lipscomb, Marin McDonald, Ashlyn Peeble Warchick, Rebecca Rugg, Grace Tabor, Melina. Tech Voryon, Brandon Wigan, Eric William, from the Department of Forest and Rangeland Stewardship, Wesley Poole, Grace Walsh, Esme Wissinger, from the Department of Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology, Sabrina Hall, Lauren Hatch. Emma Haugen, Christina Lucas, Alexander Hay, Lars Quinlan, Megan Rosser, Rafael Salinas, Kelly Sinning, Juniper Vane, and from the Department of Human Dimensions of Natural Resources, Alicia Bucky, Abby Shaneyfelt. Congratulations. Uh, 
Uh, now we will recognize our candidates of distinction for spring 2023. These graduates symbolize the academic achievements of approximately the upper 10% of today's degree recipients. Under the policy of the Faculty Council, candidates for distinction are determined as follows. Those with the designation of summa cum laude constitute approximately 1% of the, the top 1% of the class. Those designated magna cum laude constitute approximately the next 3% of the class. Those designated cum laude constitute approximately the next 6% of the class. The students who have been nominated to these distinctions are wearing gold robes and green robes with gold cords and will be identified separately as they receive their diplomas. Please stand now as a group to be recognized. Congrats. Additionally, scholastic achievement and professional potential are recognized by various national honor societies Select members of the 2023 graduating class have been recognized for their achievements through initiation into Xi Sigma Pi. Xi Sigma Pi is the only national honor society which recognizes students in forestry in all natural resource areas, students who have maintained excellent academic records and who exhibit outstanding potential for success in their specific professional areas are invited to membership. You will recognize these graduates by their green, white, and gold stoles. Would the initiates of Xi Sigma Pi please stand and be recognized? Thank you. All right, congratulations, and remember, you can all be honorable. Thus, you can all be honorary honors students. Thank you. Our, our masters and PhD graduates officially received their degrees this morning in a separate ceremony. However, we want to say a special congratulations to those graduates. I'd like to take this opportunity to recognize any first-generation graduates. You are a testament to the power of a land-grant university, and we celebrate your contributions to our community. Will first-generation students and their families please stand and be recognized? At this time, I would like to invite Captain Alan Plack of Colorado State University Air Force ROTC to the podium to recognize our commissioned graduates. On behalf of the Air Force Reserve Officer Training Corps here at Colorado State University, I am deeply honored to share in your commencement ceremony today. I would like to extend my congratulations to each graduate of the Warner College of Natural Resources on your outstanding accomplishments, and I wish each of you all the best in your future endeavors. I am especially honored to be able to introduce to you two of our nation's newest military officers and your fellow graduates, Second Lieutenant Jamie Ebersole and Second Lieutenant Christian Glass. Would both of you please stand? <laughs> Second Lieutenant Ebersol may not be here today, but he has earned a Bachelor of Science in Natural Resources Management. He will begin his career in the United States Air Force as a combat systems officer candidate at Pensacola Naval Air Station in Florida. Second Lieutenant Christian Glass earned a Bachelor of Science in Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. 
and he will begin his career in the United States Air Force as an aircraft maintenance officer at Kirtland Air Force Base, New Mexico. So to the both of you, my congratulations on your accomplishments, and I wish you the best of luck as you begin your military career. At this time, I would also like to recognize any other student veterans graduating today wearing a white stole. Will those who have or are currently serving our nation please stand? Please join me in recognizing the accomplishments of these student veterans. Now, I'd like to welcome the 16th president of Colorado State University, Amy Parsons, to share her remarks to the class. Well, hello, Rams. Good afternoon. What a momentous occasion this is that brings us all together today. Graduates of the class of 2023, congratulations. You've had quite a journey to arrive here. It takes a tremendous amount of hard work and creativity and determination to earn this degree. Adding a pandemic to your experience with all its uncertainties only increased the challenge. You've completed the rigorous coursework required by your degree path, and you've earned this day with years of applied effort. You belong here today. I recognize this effort, and I'm so proud of you. Your loved ones, your professors, and all the staff here at CSU admire and respect your accomplishments, large and small, that have brought you here to this ceremony. Years ago, like Scott Gilmore, I sat right where you are now, graduating from Colorado State University right here in Moby Arena. And while my graduation day was joyous and filled with excitement and some relief, I only grew to truly appreciate my time at CSU, the people here, and what I accomplished as the years after graduation went on, and I suspect that the same will be true of you. As you go forth and meet new challenges, excel and grow, build and create, and blossom into the very best versions of yourselves, you'll realize how much your strength and ingenuity and skill was built during your time here at CSU. You have the foundation now to create purposeful, happy, impactful lives, completely unique to you, and that only you can imagine. And you'll face what the dean calls wicked problems. And when you do, you can be certain that your broad education, your critical thinking skills, and your training in natural resources are what our society will require to effectively solve those important challenges. Warner College and CSU will always be an important part of your, of your journey and your story. And CSU is a better place because you were here. This 150-year-old institution will stand with you no matter where you take your future. Tomorrow, like me, you will wake up as a CSU alum. You'll be able to walk around and say, yeah, I'm an alum of CSU. I got my degree at CSU. And you'll enter into a worldwide family of CSU alumni who are committed to one another, helping to build dreams and investing in the next generation of Rams. I'm excited to meet you along your alumni journey. But today, today is for celebration. And celebrate we will. Congratulations again, class of 2023. We applaud you. Go Rams. Okay, next is the big moment. Ready? It's my pleasure to introduce the chair of Colorado State University System Board of Governors, Mr. Armando Valdez, to confer your degrees. Armando. Good afternoon. What a tremendously exciting day it is for Colorado State University, your parents, your family, your friends, your neighbors, but especially for all of you on behalf of the Board of Governors of the Colorado State University System. Congratulations. Very happy for you. I want to thank Dean Aguirre and President Parsons for the invitation here today. 
very excited to celebrate with you, but as was mentioned before, this is not the culmination of your achievements, but the, incept, the initiation of your representation of your talents, your gifts, and everything you've been prepared for that the faculty, staff, and all your mentors have helped get you to. It's also a continued journey of learning, and I've learned here today, thank you to Mr. Gilmore. I wanted to get up here and say thank you because what you do with natural resources is very important to me. I'm a farmer and rancher from Southern Colorado in the San Luis Valley. And I wanted to get up here. Thank you. We need farms, we need food, right? I wanted to get up here and say, mi tierra, mi agua, son mi vida. But as Mr. Gilmore talked about, those aren't mine. They belong to Mother Earth. And we have to be good stewards, but those are elements. So, our wa so water, land, they are our life together, and we are all part of that. So thank you, Mr. Gilmore, for that. And finally, as you go forth on that journey, remember, you are those ambassadors and representatives of Colorado State University that President Parsons mentioned. And we know you're going to take that representation and represent the RAMS CSU Rams very well. Congratulations. Warner College of Natural Resources, graduating class of 2023, it is now time for me to confer your degrees. It is my sincere honor to formally declare on behalf and with the authority of the Board of Governors of the Colorado State University System, I hereby confer the Bachelor of Science degree on each of you together with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereunto. Graduates, you may now stand you may move your tassels from the right to the left side of your cap. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating Werner College graduates of 2023. As we continue our program, I'm going to ask you to hold your applause. Again, congratulations. And go Helen. If you bring a sign with your name on it, you might get a shout out. Congratulations, everyone. Turn over. Thank you. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce Ms. Melina Takforian, graduating senior, Department of Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, who will give our graduating senior address. Yeah, you may all be seated. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm not going to lie, it feels a little odd to be up here representing this class of 2023. Some of you may be wondering who I am or racking your brains to remember where you may have seen me before. Um, I'm graduating with my degree in ecosystem science and sustainability with minors, <laughs> whoop, with minors in Spanish and international development. And while many of you began your CSU journeys in 2019 or earlier, I came in 2020. And while many of you arrived with the burning desire to shred the mountains or go on road trips to the different beautiful sites we have here at our fingertips, I was raised in a city of Colorado wannabes out in Austin, Texas, <laughs> and I definitely did not grow up in the outdoorsy crowd. I would say my upbringing was much more centered around learning about different cultures, learning about my family's culture, and experiencing the diversity that came with living in a big urban city. And while many of you may have known about CSU prior to coming here, I kind of appeared here, having missed our online college orientation due to technical difficulties on my end, and not really knowing what was in store for me as I started my schooling during the pandemic. So I found myself here in this small town relative to what I grew up with in Colorado, with little idea of how different the Colorado lifestyle would be from what I knew. The first person I met on my first day here at CSU described how he spent every summer of his childhood road tripping around the US, going hiking, rafting, climbing, 
and then proceeded to profess his love for the water cycle <laughs> and why, how those road trips fueled his passion for studying watershed sciences. <laughs> And let me tell you, it is three years later, and I'm still trying to find that same amount of passion. And as I continued interacting with people like the passionate watershed student, I had a realization that allowed me to understand why I felt a little out of place here. The Warner College is home to people who love outdoor activities, but also love nature just as much. And I felt like everyone I met was some adrenaline junkie. Y'all are always going climbing and hiking and cliff diving at horse tooth and snowboarding and mountain biking and snowshoeing and skiing and running. And while I know deep down that all of you do have a little adrenaline junkie in you, I also can now see that that just comes from the feeling of discovery and the love that we all share for discovery. This adrenaline addiction comes from the satisfaction you feel when you challenge yourself physically and succeed. But another part of it is the thrill of exploring the place that you're in. For a lot of us, just the act of being outside is like being in a classroom. And at least for me, when I, you can always take as much knowledge that you have in with you, but I always learn something new from being outside or I come away with more geeky questions than I started with. And if that last sentence makes it seem like I have embraced the outdoorsy mentality I've been surrounded by, don't be so quick to draw conclusions. This school year, I had the privilege to work at the Center for Protected Area Management. And, bef <laughs> and before I got the job, I had a phone call with my now supervisor, Ryan Fincham, where we talked about the position and he ultimately welcomed me to the team. And as we were talking, he said, I know your first day is supposed to be next Wednesday. I just wanted to let you know that we have a team development day scheduled for that day, and we try to do it as much as our workload allows for it. And I'm thinking, that sounds great. Um, that's an awesome work environment to be a part of. And Ryan continued saying, you're free to join the activities. We're going up to Wyoming to hike Medicine Bow Peak. And I know you have class, so it's okay if you can't come. We'll be out all day, and you'll have to hit the road early in the morning. So take the time to think about it, but just know that you're welcome. So now I have a pop quiz for everybody here. What do you think this Colorado resident of two years said upon being invited? If you think that I said, yes, I will come, this sounds incredible, clearing my schedule, class doesn't matter, then maybe you're here in the audience and you're from Colorado because you'd be wrong. <laughs> as much as I have the outdoorsy mentality growing on me at the time, my academic goody two-shoes side still came first, and I told Ryan I'd have to get back to him. But don't worry, I checked my school schedule, and I decided I was crazy for even thinking twice about being paid to go hiking as my work orientation day. <laughs> and I had an incredible time. And now, because I have talked a lot about how inexperienced I am in the outdoors, I'll have y'all know that I can now say that I've gone skiing, I've hiked a 14er, I've gone camping in the summer and the winter, been to all the national parks we have here in Colorado, I've seen the western slope of the Rocky Mountains and been on the eastern plains. And so after some culture shock, I can say I'm a little bit of an adrenaline junkie myself. And, <laughs> and I can confidently say that this growth that I've experienced here and the lessons that I've learned from all of you passionate, dedicated people in the Warner College have made me a better person and maybe a real outdoorsy one too. I'm proud to be a part of this group of people. I know that we share so much in common despite our diverse backgrounds. The students, professors, TAs, and friends have all taught me what it really means to invest in the communities that we live in, be stewards of the places that we call home, and to continue discovering new things. I can't wait to see what amazing things we go on to do. So congratulations, Colorado State University, Warner College of Natural Resources, class of 2023. Thank you, Melina, for that wonderful address, well delivered. Would Dean Aguirre now please come forward to provide our closing remarks?
sorry. <laughs> Would department marshals, hold on. Yes. Would department marshals please escort the graduates to the front of the stage to receive their diplomas? Would Dean Aguirre and Dr. Rich Conant please come forward to congratulate our graduates? The Department of Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Will Department Head Rich Conant please come up? Molly Kathleen Bell, Watershed Science. Ethan Aaron Choate, Watershed Science. Helen Ann Flynn, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, magna cum laude. Justin Hollis, Environmental Sustainability, cum laude. Devin Hunt, Watershed Science. Marin Shane McDonald, Watershed Science. Kyron Ann Matero, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. <laughs> Melina Rose Takvorian, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, cum laude. Alexander Merkline, Watershed Science. Rebecca Joy Rugg, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, magna cum laude. Nathaniel Eckhart Sievers, Natural Resources Management, cum laude. Eric Theodore Williams, Watershed Science, cum laude. Mitchell Allen Zombeck, Watershed Science. Rose Margaret Julian, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Hunter Miles Geis Sanchez, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Katerina Elizabeth Gingras, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Grace Elizabeth Coughlin, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Megan Elizabeth Pearson, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, magna cum laude. Brianna Keeley Winter, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. <laughs> Christopher Ball, Paul Brackett, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. <laughs> Jose Norberto Ramos, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Ethan Thomas Grady, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. 
Molly M. Hendry, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Grace Shoemaker, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Alexandria Renee Rush, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Casey Carlton Rowe, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Drew A. Jurgensen, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Bryn Christina Hall, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Magna Cum Laude. Aspen Arbuckle, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Ryan Philip Castell, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, magna cum laude. Nicole L. Wallison, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Hillary Johnson, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Ben Nordbrock, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, magna cum laude. Daniel T. Rode, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, summa cum laude. Madeline Elizabeth Gillette, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Blake Richard Hoffman, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Haley Marie Hopkins, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, cum laude. Emma Lindsay McGee, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Grace Marie Chaffin, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Abigail Leanne Sand, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Connor M. Wojek, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Kaylin Ann Stevens, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Aaron McGinty Hayward, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Grace Marion Tabor, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, cum laude. Alexander C. Eberly, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Sean M. Brawley, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Shannon Grace Riley, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, cum laude. Catherine Elizabeth Rose, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Alexandria Gomez Widowson, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Paige M. Muffelman, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Emma Julianne Jordan, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, cum laude. Allison Lois Clark, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, cum laude. Tara Flood, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, cum laude. Yeah. 
Isabel K. McPherson, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Owen Joyce, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Hayden McCall Warner, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Caroline Spurt, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Talon Theodric Trailer, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Riley Lynn Ruff, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Hayden R. Thomas, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Shelby Elise Baker, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Aiden N. Cruz, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, cum laude. Owen Francis Jewell, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, cum laude. Veronica Casey, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Stella G. Schuhart, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Ashlyn Ann Piavarchek, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Daria Rose Ahrens, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, cum laude. Zoe C. Lipscomb, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, cum laude. Jordan J. Mitchell, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Leo Alexander Thomas, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Olivia Curlidge, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Morgan L. Hayes, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Riley Nina Sharkey, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. The Department of Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Will Department Representative Troy Ockeltree please come up? Michaela Tamora Fadness, Natural Resources Management. Trevor James Lawrence, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Turner Jacob Mason, Natural Resources Management. William James Eager, Natural Resources Management, cum laude. Sarah Rose Sathy, Natural Resources Management, summa cum laude. Joseph William Welch, Natural Resources Management. Jessica A. Paste, Natural Resources Management. Hudson Elizabeth Heath, Natural Resources Management. Maya Laura Bass, Natural Resources Management. Yeah. 
Jackson R. Burris, Natural Resources Management. Jasper Michael Germain, Natural Resources Management. Caden E. Oliver, Natural Resources Management. Nico Lucena, Natural Resources Management. Kaylee Rose Beck, Fire and Emergency Services Administration. Mackenzie Abigail Riley, Fire and Emergency Services Administration. Madison Gailey Roth, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Audrey Marie Lundgren, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Jacob R. Garbani, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Jameson Scott Woodley, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Andrew Robert Vermesh the Fourth, Natural Resources Management. Eric Loberg, Natural Resources Management. Brooke H. Alexander, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Jake Michael Austin, Restoration Ecology. Sarah Elizabeth Harvey, Restoration Ecology, Cum Laude. Ashley Marie Salato, Restoration Ecology, Magna Cum Laude. Lenora Ayami Todd Howell, Restoration Ecology. Brogan McGuire Reed, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Matthew Willis Bear, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Esther Elizabeth Eckfield, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Christopher Edward Curley, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Cable Vanderwarf, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Hannah Joelle Johnson, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Victoria T. Creed, Restoration Ecology. Grace Catherine Walsh, Natural Resources Management, Cum Laude. Caitlin Anna Wilson, Natural Resources Management. Sophia Esme Wessinger, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Angelica Emily Helmer, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship, magna cum laude. Clinton Alexander Lacey, Natural Resources Management. Jacob P. Garvey, Natural Resources Management. Scott R. Van Slyke, Fire and Emergency Ad Services Administration. Rachel Lilly, Natural Resources Management. Yeah. 
David J. Krager, Natural Resources Management. Joshua W. James, Natural Resources Management. Lauren S. Hayde, Natural Resources Management. Lucas Bunger Spiaka, Natural Resources Management. Wesley Leon Poole, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship, magna cum laude. Jacob Allen Anderson, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Benjamin Parker Blakerot, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Cameron A. Duran, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Thank you, Rocky. Appreciate you. Kyle Davis Stone, Natural Resources Management, summa cum laude. Justin Tyler Saliba, Natural Resources Management. The Department of Geosciences, will Department Head Rick Astor please come up. Usama Salem Al Hashmi, Geology. Ma'athar Ibrahim Al Shahi, Geophysics. Benjamin M. Fowler, Geology. Mitchell Tucker Manino, Geology. Yeah, Mark E. Bolschweiler, Geology. Adam Stefani, Geology. Brendan Thomas Auer, Geology. Devin E. Clary, Geology. Atia Keelan Adams, Geology. Shea James Lankowski, Geology, Cum Laude. The Department of Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Will Catherine Head Catherine Stoner please come up? Grace Marie Macavina, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation Biology. Annika Marie Thompson, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Haley Frederick, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Aisha Jasmine Corson, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Olivia Faith Thompson, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology. Anthony Martin, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology. Cole Jeffrey Stevens, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology. Diego Muhammad, 
Janab, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Jacob T. Cotillier, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Trevor James Thomas, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. David Anthony Gerzik, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Isaiah L. Gonzalez, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Timothy C. Sontag, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Christian Arthur Narby, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation Biology. Liliana Rose Boyer Rosales, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation Biology. Alexander High, Zoology and Wildlife Biology, magna cum laude. <laughs> Lars William Quinlan, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology, cum laude. Jonas Braxton Cox, Fish Wildlife and Conservation Biology. Aaron J. Dubas, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology. Carolyn Kraus, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology. Camille Sophia Jacobs, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology. Kaylee Dawn Smith, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology. Margaret Grace Dixon, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology. Elizabeth Denise Corey, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology. Hallie Dawn Jones, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology, magna cum laude. Elaine Shushan Quinn, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology. Anna Louise Rowland, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology. Claire Elizabeth Burdick, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology, cum laude. Serena Ann McGuire, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology. Christina Tem Lucas, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology. Emma Rose Haugen, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology, summa cum laude. Kennedy Kenyon Daniels, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology. Madison Lee Wallenches, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology, magna cum laude. Noelle Marianne Mason, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology. Lindsay Nicole Amor Muniz, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology. Rachel M. Spence, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology. Kylie Bambi, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Hunter D. Johnson, 
fish wildlife conservation biology, summa cum laude. Megan L. Rosser, fish wildlife conservation biology, summa cum laude. Litsi Fatima Velasco Yanez, fish wildlife and conservation biology. Stephanie Lynn Tian, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Juniper Levon Shivan Vane, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology, summa cum laude. Heather Renee O'Connor, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Casey Anthony Ayala, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology, cum laude. Savannah Blue Graham, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Alan Michael Sralik, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology, magna cum laude. Brianna Crone, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Robert Christian Monahan, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Micaiah Ashley Ruther, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Troy James Wolf, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Devin C. Moore, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Catherine Jean Mary McDonald, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology, magna cum laude. Brody A. Knott, Fish Wildlife and Conservation Biology. Hannah Marilyn Liebman, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology, cum laude. Ashley Don Martinovich, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Jackson Robert Gregory. Jackson! Fish, Wildlife, Conservation Biology. Andrew Mark Wisniewski. Fish, Wildlife, Conservation Biology, cum laude. Carter Busek, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Neil Cadill Graff, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Ian M. Perry, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. McKenna Marie Presley, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Kelly Aileen Sinning, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology, cum laude. Shannon Merrill Iral, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Beckett Leo Olbreeze, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Autumn E. Tudela, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Allie B. Lamberson, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology.
Maya Corinne Corsal, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology, Cum Laude. Lauren Elizabeth Hatch, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Taylor Lynn Nichols, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Dane Matthew Olson, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Adele Rose Shermer, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Joshua David O'Bannon, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Troy Morgan Sterling, Fish, Wildlife and Conservation Biology. Sabrina G. Hall, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation Biology. Rafael Antonio Salinas, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation Biology, Cum Laude. Sierra J. Wells, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. The Department of Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Will Department Head Mike Manfredo please come up? Lauren Alexandra Moore, Natural Resource Tourism. Ava Elizabeth Costello, Natural Resource Tourism. Anissa E. Park, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Claire Johnson, Natural Resource Tourism. Joel R. Dilly, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Alexander Deachin, Natural Resource Tourism. Chloe Murphy Komkowicz, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Abby Dale Shaneyfelt, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources, summa cum laude. Andrew Bannister, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Taylor K. Abrams, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Mason Terrence Standring, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Christian Patrick Glass, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Kiernan Scott McInnes, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Riley McKenna Shipman, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. McKenna G. Reed, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Reagan Olivia Poskovich, Natural Resource Tourism. Colleen Virginia Barrett, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Hattie Ray Gilbert, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Sarah Matzinger, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources, Cum Laude.
Alicia R. Butke, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources, magna cum laude. Haley Elizabeth Grace Vargo, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Kelly Ray McGrath, Natural Resource Tourism. Kiara Anya Wynn, Natural Resource and Global Tourism. Victoria Jean Ware, Natural Resource Tourism. Emma Ann Rasmussen, Natural Resource Tourism. Travis Cosgrave, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Ashley Jo Anderson, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Grace Amy Catherine Evans, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Philip M. Chavez, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Hannah Renee Benham, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Sean W. Gear, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources, cum laude. Tanner Riley Krebs Etheridge, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Ginger K. Clark, Natural Resource Tourism, summa cum laude. Evan Foster Harmeyer, Natural Resource Tourism. Abigail Maniscalco, Natural Resource Tourism. Hunter Chase Weber, Natural Resources, Global Tourism. David Alexander Leatherman, Natural Resource Tourism. Matthew Keith Marshall, Natural Resource Tourism. Catherine Marie Brady, Natural Resource Tourism, magna cum laude. And last but not least, Gretchen Ann Smith, Natural Resource Tourism. Can you hear me? Oh, there, there you go. Let's give a round of applause to all our graduates of 2023. Thank you. We've been telling you from the beginning that you're passionate, you're the next generation, totally committed of what's uh, gonna happen to the planet, to your community, uh, to humans and all species in the planet. You totally will make a difference every day once you join the workforce or you decide to go into graduate school or volunteer or, or work on a specific project. You have to take advantage of these opportunities to act and contribute to these important challenges. I think that uh, our generation try to provide you with the tools to be successful. 
and now you're going to have the world on your shoulders. In, in many ways, we have to fix a lot of environmental wicked problems, but we have hope and the solution to, to do it, and you are the task force to do so. It's been an incredible honor and great pleasure to serve as your team. I can't believe I've been here already two semesters, my first academic year, and I'm just amazed all the amazing things this place has done, not only with our faculty, our students, but our staff. Please stay connected with us, engage, join the Alumni Association, and carry your ramp pride forward for the rest of your lives. I wish you success and fulfillment in your travel forward toward your next milestone. Keep in touch as you find successes. We'd love to hear from you. Remember, this is your home. Have a terrific journey, great evening, and a wonderful life. Thank you. Let us now please let us now please stand and join Ms. Fitzpatrick in the singing of the Colorado State University alma mater. You may be seated. Congratulations again to our graduates, and thank you all for joining us this afternoon. Families and guests, please remain seated as the platform party, faculty, and graduates exit. Graduates, please follow your department marshal back to the auxiliary gym. You can meet your guests outside at the Moby area north entrance. This concludes our ceremony. Thank <laughs> you.